So guys, my Behringer Ultra Gain came in the post today. So guys, here's the plan. On these um, interfaces, they've got all inputs. Now these inputs can connect to your sound card via the back. The back has um, a TOS connector. Uh, sorry, a, a, sorry. The, the, the back has an ADAT interface. Excuse me, sir. The back has an ADAT, in, uh, sorry, has an ADAT connector. And that ADAT connector can connect to your sound card via a TOS cable, providing you have ADAT ins. Via the TOS cable, this thing should work in theory. So I'm going to put this to the test now and hopefully be able to wire all these te all this tech into my sound card and give my sound card eight extra inputs. Obviously, if you've got multiple ADAT connectors on your sound card, you can also use that too. So I'm going to utilize another eight inputs. And what I'm going to do as well, to be able to make this a little bit more flexible, I've got a patch bay down here. And this patch bay, I'm going to use to wire and then I'm going to do it, but the outputs from the back here are going to be wired into the inputs here. And then I can just patch all my tech in, say, for example, eight outputs from my Akai, uh, eight outputs from my Akai S950 and my 3000 Emu, so on and so forth. I can patch them all into here, all the outputs here. So, for example, if I wanted to, uh, say, connect the Akai S3000 into there, when I've got that patched in, obviously, all I have to do is that. If I want to, if I want to connect the 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 emu, I could have the emu over here, the output from the emu here, and that would go straight into there. So in theory, that's what it's going to be like. But the thing is, as this is round the front, this is made to be a patch device. So instead of just doing what I said, sorry, I'll confuse myself there. I'm literally just going to do that and have all of the outputs from my different techs coming out the back here, Bosch, and down into the back of this. So I can say right, Akai one to one. Akai 2 to 2 and so on and so forth and I could just have 8 inputs there as well as the inputs that are already in on the uh, existing sound card. My UAD Apollo, I've got my RME down there, that does that as well, that's got an ADAT interface and also this and I'll show you the software now as well which is quite important as well because the software sh give, will give you um, an extra 8 inputs. So, so guys, I've got this mad crackling coming out of the speakers when I connect the uh, TOS cable to the back of the um, Ultra Gain. So work in progress, we get there. Okay guys, I sussed it, yeah. Um, I had to go to my UAD card and um, I had to put the, um, what do you call it, the clock source to ADAT. Now I've got it to ADAT, um, it's, it's working okay. When I press a button, oh yeah, lovely. Right, so now I've got to just take stuff out, patch it up. Tomorrow I'm going to come in, going to wire it all up and use it on my patch bay. So guys, this is pretty cool stuff. You know, if you're like me, don't, uh, you know, don't have the space for an external mixer as such. Um, this is a good idea because, uh, you know, you can just use your sound card as a mixer and hopefully wire it all up. And I've got the benefit of using the Apollo's uh, inputs and also the, all the special effects that go with it. So guys, uh, you know, I'm going to let you know how I get on with that. And um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Take care. God bless. Peace.